Good morning, folks. It's time for the Cap Guy with JT. And that's me. Woohoo! Hey, good morning, folks. It's time to get to it. I'm going to show you what I sold. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, it's my show. You didn't say the Cap Guy. Well, we are a pretty good team. You know, I mean, uh... You know, kind of like, uh, what kind of team? Oh, you know, like, uh, McMahon and Carson, or Burns and Allen, or maybe Felix and Oscar, Bert and Ernie, uh, Laverne and Shirley. Okay, okay. We, we ain't that kind of team. Okay. All right. Well, good morning, folks. The cap guy here without a cap. Uh, Think I'll steal his today, maybe. Yeah, that don't fit my head. All right, we won't do that. Uh, we uh, we'll get into what we sold today, and then I'm gonna go over some things that uh, one of my viewers wanted me to do, and try to get this phone right here. Um, had a not a busy day on sales yesterday as far as numbers of uh, items sold, but good profit, uh, especially on one of them. Uh, one of them was a really good one. So I'll go over those. And then I'm going to get into the shipping aspects of it. And I'll talk a little bit about it. And then I'll show you kind of what I do on eBay when I ship something. Um, the, the question was uh, learning about shipping on eBay. A new, new seller or potential seller. And basically, there's a lot of different avenues you can use for Shipping your items, UPS, FedEx, um, Pirate Ship, uh, which I'm not an expert at, but I have signed up for it. I haven't used it yet. And then, of course, the main one is the post office. Most of your items are going to go via USPS. And to be honest, and I'll knock on wood because I've had really good service with them, most of the things you ship are going to get to wherever they're going in the United States within two to three to four days anywhere and some things i ship first class can end up in pennsylvania in two days especially if you ship during the end of the week uh friday and sometimes stuff will be delivered monday that you wouldn't expect for maybe the tuesday or wednesday of the following week but anyway getting off that the post office is probably the cheapest especially for things that are under a pound uh i ship a lot of ball caps ship a lot of uh, clothing which i'm trying to get away from if it's under 12 uh, ounces, I'm sorry, 16 ounces, then it would go in a poly envelope if it's clothing, if you can fit it. I would also suggest you get a lot of flat rate envelopes, and you can order those on USPS.com. Um, on USPS.com, you have to register, but you can order supplies. And I have a pretty good stockpile now of supplies because I do go through a lot of the flat rate envelopes. Typically, if you go to the post office and ship a flat rate envelope, which is about a 12 by 10 envelope, uh, but it's padded and they're free. That's the nice thing. You don't have to worry about paying for those supplies. Um, it's $8 if you go to the post office to ship it currently. But when you're using eBay from here, my discount is $6.94 for that same envelope. So that's the cost of it. And depending on whether you're doing free shipping or whether you're having the customer pay for the shipping, you want to get a, a and a good idea what it weighs, but I get, uh, jumpsuits. Um, I get some small jackets, I get hoodies, things like that. And then all uh, jeans, I fold those up and get them in flat rate envelopes because typically jeans weigh a pound and a half. And if you ship those outside of a padded envelope, you're going to pay eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars for those things. So you definitely want to do that. The first thing you want to do when you decide to start shipping is get a scale. You can get a good small scale on Amazon or eBay or even at Walmart for $25 or less. Um, if you want to pay up a little bit and you're going to do a lot of shipping, then I would suggest getting one that has a rating capacity of at least 50 pounds. Um, I bought one not too long ago for 30 some odd dollars and I'll show that to you in a few minutes, but it's an electronic digital scale. And um, it, it does the job. You want to weigh your things prior to listing them so you know 
once you've done it for a while, you'll have an idea. A cap weighs about three to five ounces. Um, T-shirts are typically around eight to 10. Uh, if it's a heavy embroidered uh, shirt, it may go to 12. Jerseys are in that same range. Um, things like that. Jeans, again, most jeans are about a pound and a half. And uh, again, I definitely go flat rate envelope. Um, order uh, number seven boxes from the USPS as well. Those are uh, 12 by 12 by eight boxes. And you can get a lot of good stuff in there as well. And it, But it does go by weight. And all things go by weight and dimensions. Um, you want to... If you if they're gonna pay you say you know twenty twenty five dollars to ship something and you can get it in a medium box uh, because it weighs a lot use the uh, the flat rate medium uh, USPS box it's it's about twelve eighty twelve ninety four right now flat rate and uh, that you can get up to seventy pounds if you can get it in that box um, so so those are some of the things the the products that you would use mainly with USPS. Stay away from some of the other priority boxes uh, because uh, some of them are flat rate pretty big. You can try the regional A and Bs, um, but you'll have to look at the rates when you're on the shipping, and I'll show you the shipping in a moment. Um, I don't think I have anything currently to ship, but I will try to show you there. Um, again, the post office, you get your own brown boxes as well. Get some different sizes. I go to Dollar General, and on the side of the building, they have uh, carts that they keep outside. And when the weather's nice and they got a bunch of them, I just drive back there and grab them myself because they don't crush their boxes. They do break them down. But you want to keep an inventory of them, um, and they're free. You want to get free boxes. You don't want to be paying for things like that um, when, you, when you don't have to. And those would not be necessarily priority, but they could go priority. Um, if they go over 16 ounces, it's going to go to priority. Uh, keep in mind when you're shipping, if you're shipping perfumes, it has to go parcel post, and that's going to cost more than if you just shipped it first class, but it's because it contains alcohol in it. Um, trying to think of other things. Uh, you definitely want tape and buy it in bulk. You want poly bags if you're going to ship clothing. Uh, you definitely want a numbering system or a lettering system so you know where your inventory is. As I said in my video yesterday, I have just shy of 2,300 listings on eBay currently. And a lot of it is clothing, but I'm sh starting to move away from it because unless it's high end, the profit margins just aren't there. Um, keep Look for hard goods. Look for old vintage stocks, some brand new stuff, some electronics if you can make sure it works. Um, trying to think some of the other things I've sold. Well, we'll go into some of the things I sold and you get an idea. I do sell ball caps. There's not a huge margin in those unless you can get them really cheap for like a quarter or 50 cents or less. I get a lot of them at the Goodwill bins and I calculate that out to about 18 cents a cap based on three or four ounces. Um, so you can get a lot of them cheap, but I do have hundreds of them. And I do sell them, and I have made as much as $50 off of a ball cap. But you, there's special caps that people are looking for. You want to get the golf hats and the, some of the special, you know, type caps. Uh, sports caps and things like that. Even I've got some really nice ones, but they just don't move that much. Um, because you can go to, you know, lids or, or some of those places and buy ball caps for $25 brand new. But if you can sell them for $10 uh, or maybe 13 with free shipping, you might, you might move some of those uh, depending on, you know, what it, what it is and the style. Um, as far as shipping goes, uh, keep it simple, but make sure you weigh your stuff. Make sure you have plenty of tape. Get you a good printer. If you're using a regular printer and you're printing the labels on paper, you're going to go through a lot of ink and I'm talking, you know, I go, I was going through $50 a month in ink because ink is, is very expensive. So I went out and got me, there's a bunch of different printers. There's a Rolo, which is a couple hundred dollars. There's Dymo 4XL, which is what I use. And it prints a stick on label. Um, and it doesn't use ink. Uh, so you get a Rolo, say 250 or 500 and it lasts you for a long time. 
The printer itself, if you buy it new, it is about $150 or so. I found one used on eBay and it worked and I got it and it's the best thing I ever did because it reduced not only the tape that I had to use with the old paper printer, I was taping the labels to the packages and going through a lot of tape and then I was also going through the ink. So the, the expenses have gone down for me by using the printer label, uh, printer, the Dymo and the Dymo, uh, the two rolls of, uh, I think I get 250 is like, I don't know, it's not even $20 a, 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 for two rolls. And that lasts me for, it'll last me for at least a couple of months. So definitely a huge savings there. Um, you want to invest in clear poly bags if you're going to do clothing. And it's just a suggestion because when you're doing your inventory, um, well, actually watch Empty Hanger on YouTube. She's a little over the top with her organization, in my opinion, but she is very organized and she has her stuff detailed. And if you're going to do clothing and that kind of stuff, then you definitely want to watch her videos. Now, if you're doing hard goods, that's a little different, uh, but you still want to have a system where you know where your stuff is. And if you're going to do hundreds of items, you better have a spot put away to put all the stuff in one, one place, whether it be a shed or in some of the guys on YouTube, uh, shed flips and even part-time pickers, they've actually invested in sheds that they work out of. But for me, I have two sheds <laughs> that I keep my mowing and other things with yard tools and my garage. I do have a shelving system where I have totes overflow totes, but I have a bedroom dedicated to it with a closet and it's, it's got a lot of stuff in it. And if you're selling, of course you're rotating items, but if you keep sourcing as I have been, um, you'll, you'll overwhelm yourself with stuff and your death pile, which is what we call stuff that isn't listed that you have bought or, or accumulated through people giving it to you or whatever. Um, that's a death pile and you want to keep up with your death pile. You want it to be non-existent or very small, um, work on, uh, listing the stuff as you bring it into the house, take the time. If you bring in 20 items, you need to have 20 listings that day or as close to it as you can, because if that death pile gets out of hand, it'll be like me where it overwhelmed me and it takes a long time and a lot of your effort and time is money. Although for me, I'm retired. It isn't as bad as if you're working and you're doing this part time, if you're doing it part time, um, and you're taking care of kids still, which I'm not, uh, then it will. I mean, there are people that do this and work too, but the more time you got to use time management, you got to make good, uh, decisions on your time and allocate it. Uh, one of the things I will say on shipping is, and one of the things I'm rated very highly on is I ship not only in one day, sometimes I'll ship same day. I sold something yesterday morning while I was making my video. I went ahead and got it ready. And because I hadn't been to the post office yet, I took it with me. So he got same day service shipping out of me. Now he paid me a good penny for what I'm going to show you in a few minutes, but I'm here to tell you shipping quickly is number one in my mind customer service, communicating, tracking my packages, making sure. And if I see that they're, it's held at pickup someplace, I'm going to com communicate with that customer because it, to me, customer service is important and spending 35 years in the, tra the transportation industry, mainly with UPS. Uh, I believe in customer service. I don't just say it and I'll communicate. Hey, did you know your package is still sitting at the post office after three days? I just want you to be aware it's there. Um, you know, thank you for your purchase when they buy it, it'll ship tomorrow or it's shipping today. All those things are appreciated by people because everything's just in time nowadays and customer service should not be taken lightly. I ship in one day, every day, rain or shine, one package or 20, I'm at the post office and, and, and that's just the way it is. Um, I believe in it. So I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to try to do something here, see if it works. No, it's not going to work. Okay. I was going to try to show you the uh, screen without me picking up my phone, but that ain't going to work. All right. 
So the first thing we sold yesterday, which was a good one for me, it's a Night Owl 8-channel Poseidon uh, 264 digital video recorder. It does not have the cameras, which they don't come with cameras, but as you can see, this is one of those that maybe a convenience store or somebody uses a surveillance and, and it's a, a recorder that um, has uh, eight screens. There are some that have 16 and other things. I found this at Goodwill last week uh, in the box uh, for twenty three sixty one. I bought it on a Wednesday, so I got a discount. On Wednesday, you get a 15% discount. Uh, 2361 is what I paid and I sold it for, uh, had it for $159.95. It sells on Amazon brand new for $189. Now this is new. It's open box, but when I opened it, it was still sealed inside. The box was a little rough and I had to actually open, tear it up a little bit to get in the box to check it. But all the manuals, all the, I mean, the remotes, all that stuff had never been opened. So I got a great deal. Um, they sent me an offer. I had it for $159.95 plus shipping. And of course, Amazon's was $189 with free shipping. So it's about the same. Um, he sent me an offer for $110. I countered at $125 and he accepted. So I had $23.61 in it. When it was all said and done, after fees and everything, I made $83 off this, uh, off this digital video camera. So that was a good deal. Plus shipping. I had to really Frankenbox, and Frankenbox means we're cutting the box down to conform to the, the item in the box. Um, you want to do that and with dimensions. Uh, when I first put it in a box, and it was an Amazon box, it came out to 40 something dollars, and I was like, oh no, I'm not paying 40 something dollars when he only paid me 20. Um, even though I had profit in it, I'll eat a dollar or two, but I'm not eating a bunch of money. So I had to cut the box down uh, bubble wrap it as best I could and get it under the 16 inches on the uh, height side or I'm sorry the the width side and uh, when I did it dropped it to 1985 so basically broke even on the shipping but all in all I made $83 the next one I bought two of these last year at a yard sale this is just a uh, windbreaker but it's older it's uh, by Hartwell and it's a Lone Star Light uh, windbreaker they were in pristine condition I paid $5 a piece at a yard sale. It's a size 2XL. I do have one more. Um, I paid $5 and I did it. I've been trying to get rid of them for a while. Um, I had it for 18 and then I ran it. I'm running a 20% off in my store right now on mainly clothing. So I got $14.40 plus shipping and that did go in a flat rate envelope. So I did make a little bit there. When it was all said and done, I only made $7.50 off the uh, windbreaker. The next item I bought in an estate sale, I bought two of these also, I have one left. It's a Afghan cloth for uh, cross stitching. And as you can see the size there, it's sealed in the package. I paid uh, $10 a piece for them on the last day of the sale because they are expensive. Um, I got $27.99, again, plus shipping, and that went in a flat rate envelope as well. So when it was all said and done, I got, uh, I made $14.50 off of it. And the last item I sold yesterday, I have another sale this morning, but I, I won't go into it. I've had this for all oh, since probably October. Uh, Chicago Bulls, Tyson Chandler. It's a sewn, sewn meaning it has raised letters or sewn on. It's not screen printed. Uh, 3XL jersey. It's in good condition. There's no stains or anything. I've had it for 35 for a while. I've always, I've had a lot of offers. And I've turned them down because I have free shipping on it. And I, I don't want to just, you know, take offers. And this guy offered me uh, $25 for it. And I turned him down. I countered back at uh, 32 and he took it. So when it was all said and done, I made $18.50 off of it. Uh, after the day was over, I had four sales. And again, it's not a huge number, but... I don't, I don't care about how many, it's it's what you made. $43.96 in cost of goods, which is one of the higher days I've had in cost of goods lately. Uh, $199.39 in total sales dollars. And my total profit for yesterday was $123.50. So again, it's about where I've been in the last three days on profit. 
Um, I'll take $123 uh, all the time uh, a day, and some days are better, and some are a little bit less. I'm going to drink a sip of coffee. My Game of Thrones uh, beverage container. I love Game of Thrones. Um, I'm going to show you the printer. This is the Dymo printer. That's my little characters I keep around my desk. Dymo 4XL. Um, it's a it's a wonderful printer. It really is. I can't say enough about it. And the cost, like I said, of operating it is really, really good as well. Um, I hope I helped on uh, shipping. If you have other questions, please comment below. Uh, let me know what you thought. And um, I'm here if you need me. Please like and subscribe and share my channel so I can help others. Again, I need to know what y'all want me to talk about. And um, hopefully I can keep JT out of my chair. And uh, yeah, you stay over there. And uh, I don't know why. I think he's napping already. And it's early. Um, there is a new Goodwill opening near me this morning. So I'm going to at least go in and see what, the, what it's all about. Kind of get the lay of the land. But I'm going to try not to source too much. I listed some things yesterday. Uh, electronics, weather radios. Uh, things like that. And uh, anyway, please uh, continue to watch and, and let me know what you thought. And if you have anything you want me to work on, let me know that too. Y'all have a great day. Cap Guy and JT out.